Hey everyone, Laser Dave here again with TroTech Laser. I want to take you on a deep dive into creating a fixture for laser engraving high volume wooden ink pens from file creation to fixture cutting to pen production. Let's take a look. I purchased these bamboo retractable ballpoint pens from Amazon for around 37 cents each in volume. Scan this QR code to order the pens used in this video. Begin by determining the dimensions and shape of the pens that will be laser processed. Measure width and length of the pens and determine locations of the features such as the clip that must be accounted for for the fixture design. Make sure to measure many different pens from different packages to confirm how much variation there is and make the dimensions large enough to account for any product variations. Create a single graphic design model of the pen using the dimensions and features of the pens as a guide. Create an outline of the pen accounting for the clip to work on both sides. Create an offset to account for the pen's curvature. This will be cut into a second bottom sheet of material to create a movable tray style fixture. Add a finger hole so that the pens can be efficiently removed from the fixture. Identify the location of the pen that can be laser engraved as a boundary for the text or graphics that will be added when engraving. Before the production fixture is created and cut, it is highly recommended that a test cut is completed to test the design. This example will use CorelDRAW. Take the pen design and add a small rectangle around it. Group it and center the rectangle to the pen outline by selecting C and E. Now ungroup it, select the design, and then select Ctrl plus D on the keyboard to duplicate. Then click and drag while holding the Ctrl key, moving the duplicate next to the original design. Then select Ctrl plus D on the keyboard to duplicate it again. Now delete the inside line shown as blue in this design and weld the circle to the pen outline. On the second drawing, remove the pen outline, leaving the inside line, and weld the same circle to that line. I now have a single test design ready for testing. Save this layout. Now take a scrap piece of 1 8 or 3 mm sheet stock material and place it into the laser and cut these two designs. In this example, I am using some 3mm veneered MDF wood for this test cut. Once the design is finished cutting, wipe clean and remove from the laser. Assemble the two parts together with a few drops of super glue. Place the pen into the test fixture and confirm that it fits correctly. Make sure that it allows for pen rotation and it's not too tight or loose. Test this fixture with many different pens to confirm product consistency. If any adjustments are needed, adjust the file and recut as many times as needed to confirm that the product fits. Once confirmed, it's time to scale up to a full production fixture. In this example, I will be using two sheets of 12 by 24 inch, 3 millimeter thick sheet acrylic. I prefer acrylic or plastic over wood for fixtures because wood tends to warp over time, causing fixtures not to lay flat. Open the drawing outline created for the test and copy and paste that design into a page that is set for the material size being used. Select the drawing and duplicate it by selecting Ctrl plus D on the keyboard. Then select that drawing and move it over, holding the Ctrl key as it is moved to maintain alignment. Then select Ctrl plus D a few more times to fill in the row. Select that row and then select Ctrl plus D again, then move the row holding the Ctrl key as it is moved to maintain alignment of that row. Then select Ctrl plus D a few more times to fill the page. Select everything on the page and group it all together. Then select the letter P on the keyboard to center everything to the page. Then go back and ungroup everything. Now select the rectangle tool and draw an outline around everything. Once complete, it's time to add some references to this fixture. Select on the shapes tool and common shapes and then select the arrow that will reference the upper left hand corner of the fixture. Fill that arrow with black. 
then select the text tool and then type the design file name so that the file can easily be searched for for future use. Add the word top to the top of the fixture or any other desired relevant information. Now select everything and select copy. Then select the plus button at the bottom of the page to open a new page. Once opened, select paste. Then rename the original page to something like master file. Then name the second page top plate. Add a third page and select paste again. And rename that page bottom plate. Now select the components of each page that are not needed and delete them so that each plate creates a full sheet for the top and bottom of the now ready to cut fixture file. Save each page as its own file. Now the design file is ready to cut. I will be cutting this production fixture from satin 3mm thick acrylic sheets. Scan this QR code for the acrylic used in this example. Remove the protective film from the top side of a sheet of acrylic and place it into the laser. Focus and then close the laser lid. Open the Ruby software and select the first design to be cut. In this first example, I will be cutting the top page first. Place the design file onto the material using the red dot pointer, ruler, or overhead vision camera. Then select the Troglass 3mm acrylic setting from the materials database and push that file to the laser. Laser process the acrylic sheet, engraving the text and arrows onto the surface and cutting the outline of the pens with the finger hole into the acrylic. Once it is finished, open and remove from the laser and set that sheet aside. Remove the film from the top side and place the second sheet of acrylic into the laser and close the laser lid. Place the bottom sheet design file onto the material again using the red dot pointer, ruler or overhead vision camera shown here and then select the Troglass 3mm acrylic setting from the materials database. Now push that file to the laser. Start the laser and the laser will cut this file into the sheet of acrylic. Once finished, remove it from the laser. Both sheets are now complete and the fixture is ready for assembly. Remove any film from the back side of the top sheet of acrylic and use an acrylic solvent cement to adhere the acrylic together. First align the top sheet to the bottom sheet and then use a solvent injector to gently allow the water thin solvent cement to go between each layer in many different locations and then give it a few minutes to bond. Once finished, remove any excess film from the back side of the bottom sheet of acrylic for the finished fixture. Now it is time to load this newly created fixture with the bamboo pens. Once the fixture is loaded, place the sheet into the laser system at the upper left hand corner tight against the rulers. Use the manual focus tool to focus onto the pen surface. Once focused, close the laser lid and the fixture is now ready for laser processing. Now open CorelDRAW and add the graphic design to the master template page by placing it into the green outline shown here. Select everything, select copy, add a fourth page and then select paste, then rename that page as the engrave file and then delete any unnecessary parts of the design and save that file. Open Ruby and load the engrave file. Then select that file into the prepare screen and the design will place itself into the upper left hand corner matching the orientation of the fixture located in the laser machine. Select the bamboo wood parameter from the materials database and skip the red and blue color so the laser only engraves a black design. Then push that file through the laser. 
Push start to start production of the pens. The laser will now engrave in the exact location of each pen. It can be used to laser process onto high volumes of pens as desired with the same graphic on each pen or a separate personalized name on each. Once the engraving is complete, if both sides of the pens are required, the pens can easily be rotated 180 degrees so that the other side could also be engraved. For example, a logo on one side and a website on the other. Once complete, this tray style fixture can be easily removed from the laser full of engraved pens, then reloaded and repeated for volume production. With larger fixtures come even greater efficiency. For maximum production, it is recommended to cut two fixtures, so that when one is running, the other can be unloaded and reset, ready to be replaced into the laser as soon as it finishes, drastically reducing laser downtime. If you would like to order and process this bamboo pen, this fixture design file will be included in the link below. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to see what I laser next. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.